blood and iron for dummies. Instead of uh, pressing F and then clicking, how about you click and then press F. Easier and faster to shoot. Be aware that you cannot move and reload at the same time for these types of guns. The pistol is the only firearm that you can walk and reload with. To swing your sword, click and then swing. For s weapons like the sword, there are four different ways to swing. Down, up, left, and right. Down and right are the ones with the most range. To block, you right click. Blocking is a good way to counter, like if they attack you, you go sh and then, you know? Classes like officers give accuracy buffs, musicians give reload buffs, and troops like the color bearer aka the flag bearer give sword swing speed buffs, which is very useful in sword combat. Classes like the officer, light infantry, and line infantry have a sword, which does 40 damage, making it a 3 hit kill against people with full HP. Riflemen have the strongest weapon in the game when it comes to damage, however, they have a 4 hit kill sword against someone with full HP. The same sword is used for artillery rankers. Sappers have a 2 hit kill weapon, a heavy hitting weapon with mediocre range and slow swing speed but is a two hit kill against people with full hp to place down buildings or to dig up dirt right click on your shovel or hammer and click the construct and just, it'll build like a little template and then you just keep building on top of it in select countries such as Russia, Spain, and Warsaw, they have a class called the Partisan class. Partisans get randomly selected presets of weapons, such as what I have right now, which is a axe and a hand axe. And if we reset, we get a different preset, such as a axe and a knife. The class is equipped with a heavy weapon, which can be a gun or scythe or whatever, and a secondary weapon, which can be a sword, a knife, a saber briquet, and all that fun stuff. Blood and Iron has many different maps, and some of them can have cavalry. Cavalry are pretty much people with horses. There are many different types of cavalry, even more being added with the upcoming cavalry update which will include a heavy horse and a cuirassier because the update hasn't come out yet there are three different types of cavalry the hussar which comes equipped with a light horse which is the fastest horse in the game a lancer which comes equipped with a lance that does severe damage to people and horses and also comes equipped with a saber however has a medium horse which is much slower but is tankier and the Dragoon, which may look like it only has a saber, but when you get off your horse, it comes equipped with a Musketoon. Which is a firearm. Also comes equipped with a medium horse, the same as the Lancer. In some maps, there will be a class called Artillery. Artillery are very important as they can use the Artillery Gun, which is a powerful weapon. To use it, you put in the round you want to use, use the rammer and click from behind, and it is ready to fire. Let's say someone is over here. We're using canister shot, which is like a shotgun type weapon. And boom. To fire the gun again, you clean it with the rammer. Put in whichever round you want. In this case, we're going to use round shot, and then use the rammer again and now it is ready to fire. This class is extremely effective against cavalry with the canister shot and the round shot for cavalry and infantry as well. That'll be it for Blood and Iron for Dummies. If you guys want a second part, leave a like and a sub. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about in the next Blood and Iron for Dummies video, if I do plan to do it. Anyways, take care guys. Thank you guys for the support and goodbye.